Seigneur. OK. So before we uh, introduce our executives, I wanted to share some stuff with you because this is the fun part that I love. Uh, fun facts. I had, I had to study this. I love this stuff. Filipinos love basketball. Oh, yes, please, please. Thank you so much. The Philippines is the world's number two producer and exporter of coconuts. Filipinos love to eat. Filipinos love their shopping malls. Jollibee is as popular in the Philippines as McDonald's elsewhere. This is interesting. Christmas is the longest holiday in the Philippines. Season usually starts in September as malls already play holiday music during those times. So we are known to have a great sense of humor and laughing at ourselves is normal and it keeps us vibrant and always young at heart. So uh, very proud. Again, please, I want to do a three, two, one because I know Filipinos are loud and proud. We're talking, if you are not Filipino, believe me you are, when we are in there. So I want to do like a three, two, one. You know how we do a countdown, three, two, one, happy new year, and everyone's loud and boisterous and you throw it out there. We're gonna do a practice before we do our introduction. So I'm gonna do a three, two, one countdown. And everyone's gonna applaud, whistle, clap, because we're gonna be loud and proud. This is the new year, 2023, so we'll do it. Three, two, one. Close. I like that area right there. Let's do one more. We, we gotta wake this whole room up, okay? Three, two, one. Filipino <laughs> Amen. Amen. What we'd like to introduce you to is the president of NAPA, National Alliance of Filipino Americans. Uh, we want to make sure we see him here. Yes. President Rudy Villar. <laughs> Take your time. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And on behalf of NAPA, I extend my warm welcome to you on this day of our charity and induction ball. We are honored and grateful to have you support and present here with us tonight. At NAPA, our purpose is to support seniors and low-income individuals in assessing federal, state, and local social welfare programs. We understand that assessing this program can be a challenge for many in our community, and we are committed to breaking that barriers that prevent individuals from receiving the assistance they need. Through our education and training programs, financial assistance, and other forms of support, we have been able to empower individuals to achieve their full potential. We believe that everyone, regardless of financial status or age, has the right to equal access to benefits and services available to them. But we cannot do this alone. We rely on the support of our community, including our sponsors, volunteers, officers, and board members to help us fulfill our purpose 
and create a brighter future for all. To our sponsors, we thank you for your generosity and commitment to our cause. Your support has enabled us to make a greater impact if not more individual in our community. To our volunteers, we are grateful for your time, dedication, and selflessness. Your hard work and willingness to give back from made a significant effort in the lives of those we serve. To our officers and board members, we recognize and appreciate your leadership and guidance, your passion and commitment to NAPA's mission have been instrumental in our success. Tonight, we are excited to celebrate the induction of new officers who will lead NAPA into the future. Their commitment and leadership enable us to continue to fulfill our purpose and make a positive impact in the lives of those we serve. We hope tonight's event will bring us all closer together and inspire us to continue efforts to make a positive impact in the lives of those in 